you could see the innocence leaving. Yes. You could see it, like, I... just drift off. You could see it, and it's like, I don't necessarily know. Yo, welcome back to Belief in Fatherhood. Today, I had a totally different video planned, but because of some things that happened, I feel like it was important to address uh, some things with my children, and I wanted to bring you along for the conversation because it's a conversation that almost every black kid has with their parents. Um, and this is really for the black audience on this channel, right? So um, today we had the talk with the boys. Um, my kids are almost, Rye is almost six, Theo's um, is seven. And uh, because of some things that were happening with the media and it's just been so prevalent with uh, being accused for things just because of the color of your skin or um, being killed just because of the color of your skin or how people perceive you, they may take extra force or aggression. Um, we felt like it was appropriate to have the discussion about anti-black racism in America. Now, my wife wasn't for this in the beginning, but uh, once, as, as a matter of fact, I brought it up to her and she was like, you know, this is not fair. I don't want to do this. Um, but after considering everything that's been happening and doing her research, she decided to come along for the conversation. I'm so glad she did because she killed the conversation. Um, so you're gonna watch a video and it's gonna be hard to watch because it's awkward and it's, it's real and it's honest, um, but it's really us having the discussion about racism to children who should not have to learn this. Um, and I equated it to feeling like, uh, you know, you're playing a video game with the wrong player, like you think your player is broken, but really the, the game is broken. And so conversations like this are the cheat code to this game uh, that we find ourselves in, this, this life that we find ourselves in. We have to make our kids aware. And so many of us remember, remember having the conversation, but we don't necessarily uh, remember what was said. So I have the whole conversation here for you to watch and just watch. And if you want, you can sign up for our email list. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be sending out a PDF of the like guide that we use to have the conversation with our children. Um, this is just for your use. Use it if you want to or not. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is just my attempt to try to help the situation and address a serious fear that I've had for a long time about this conversation that we were going to eventually have to have with our you know, innocent black children. And as, as you watch this, you're gonna be able to see the innocence leave. You're gonna see the wheels spinning in, in the frustration of them not knowing how to answer the question or them not knowing how to ask the question. Um, but yeah, so yeah. What we're talking about is the fact that you know that you are a good kid, right? Mm -hmm. What else do you know is true about yourself? Hmm. That, about, I, that I like playing Nintendo Switch. You do like playing Nintendo Switch. What about, um, do you know that you're smart? Mm-mm. You don't know that you're smart? Mm-mm. You are smart. I'm not. Why do you say you're not smart? Because sometimes I follow on my brother's tricks. Well, that doesn't mean you're not smart. That just means you are outsmarted. <laughs> <laughs> but you still are smart. You have a thirst for knowledge. I love the way that you like to read. Um, you are caring. Look, hey. I'm trying to talk to you. You are caring. Caring. You, are, you always stick up for the kid that needs to be stuck up for. You mm -hmm. are courageous, you are brave. Unless there are bugs around. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things that are true about you, right? That we know this. You know mm -hmm. those things about yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what Papa is trying to say is that people are going to see you and without knowing anything about you, all they can see is that you are a good looking black boy, right? But they're gonna see the black skin and for some but are people, bad kids real? Bad kids are real. Bad kids do exist. Bad kids, bad people. All yeah. Of them.
but yeah, are let me you, finish. but you're not a bad kid or a bad person is what we're trying to say but some people will see this color skin and they will start to assume things about you do you know what that means no. to assume mm -hmm. they're gonna that, guess they're gonna guess about your um, character yeah but what if i guess back and love of they're doing bad stuff and can I run them back to you guys and tell? Of course, always. And you can always tell us. Yeah. But what I'm what your papa is trying to say is that some people are gonna see the color of your skin and they're gonna think that you're a bad person just because you're black. Black. Do you understand that? Why are they gonna think I'm a bad person? That's because they're stupid. My friends don't. Your no, friends, friends do don't. not because they know you. Yeah. They know all those things that we said about you to be true. They know that you're smart, that you're kind, that you love people, that you're courageous, that you're brave. But, they know all those things about you. But that's why we tell you not to talk to strangers because everybody doesn't know you. Mm, but a lot of people know you. Right. They Does think that mean you're famous? Well, it's not about being famous. And so basically, we make the video. The reason why people know who I am is because we make videos about what it is to be black. Mm -hmm. We make videos about black family. We're a black and family. And about dads. And about dads. True. But people know me because I, we make the videos. If they didn't know me, they wouldn't care. If you didn't make the videos, they wouldn't care. Do you understand that we want you to be very smart? about people you do not know, and that includes police. Are, peop are police smart? Some of them are, some of them are not. But, they, they do, but they do have badges, and they do have guns, so you have to be smart around them. You can't trust everybody. Hmm. You can trust your family. Is there bad polices? Yes. What kind of? We you don't can't know. tell the difference. We don't know what they look like, buddy. We, I think we saw police. We saw police um, close by here. Mm -hmm. Out of our window. Okay. So do you understand what we're saying? We're going to have this conversation again, and you can ask us any questions about police or about being black or any questions you have or if someone treats you funny or looks at you weird you can ask us any questions about that we want to make sure that you ask us anything or talk to us yeah but happens. what if they ha try to grab me and not let me tell you that well then you run fast and you scream how come now listen if the police come and talk to you at this age you do not talk to police why? Just tell Just them don't. you need to get your parents. Yeah, you talk to your you tell them to talk to your parents. If the police says hi, you can say hi, but if they ask you any questions, you do not answer any questions. Okay. You say I can't talk to you without my dad around and my mom around. Okay. Okay, so what do you say if a police officer starts to ask you questions? Mm, nothing. You say, <laughs> I I'm so sorry, I can't talk to you without my parents okay. around. I'm going to let you start. Okay. Because <laughs> you did a phenomenal job last time. So, uh, Mommy and I are going to talk to you. Okay. 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 So, Theo. Yeah? Um, what are some things that are true about you? Tell us about yourself. Okay. That I do not get much sleep. You do not get much sleep. Okay. I stay up. Okay. In my room. What about things about your character? Yeah. Like Me? Some yeah. qualities about you. Tell us some qualities about yourself. Like, one of the things that I love about you is that you are a really good caretaker. Like, when you Can't are looking care out. care Uzi. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. only Uzi, but you do a good job taking care of Anaya and Uriah as well. Yeah. When, and I, yeah. You're a good big brother. Remember the time in the ocean when the wave knocked her down and you picked her up and then you turned your body against the rest of the wave so that they wouldn't How? hit her? How did I do that? You don't remember that? Instinct. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that was really bad. You are protective of your brothers and sisters. What else is true about you? Hmm. Smart. Hmm. Oh, I answered that. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome. Yeah, also. <laughs> and I like to ride my bike over the street. Mm -hmm. and so the we're not necessarily talking about the things that you enjoy, the things that you like to do. We're talking about the things that we know to be true about you. That you are a good friend, that you are a good person, that you're kind and loving, and you care about people. And you're a leader. You are a leader. You, the thing I love about you is that you always see people. Like, you see them beyond what they're showing. You mm. can see when people are hurting, when people are happy, when people are sad. Like and today, mad. when you asked me what was wrong when I was in the hammock. Those are all things that are true about you, right? And so, the conversation we want to have with you today is that sometimes people are going to look at you and they're going to think that you're a bad person. Okay. Why? Do you want to know why? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so people might look at you and because they see the your skin color, they're going to be like, oh, that guy's bad. Unfortunately. How does that make you feel? It feels okay if you guys don't really care. What'd you say? say? I don't really care if they call me that. Well, listen, no one's going to call you that, right? So what we're saying is, like, sometimes, um, you know, people see, like, people our color. They don't know that we are good people. They don't know that, you know, like, we live normal lives and we love our families and we're, like, nice. You know what I'm saying? Because of things that they have seen um, or like on TV, like sometimes in, in like the superhero stories, check this out. All the superhero stories you watch, most of them, all the characters that are the good guys don't look like us. There's only a couple good guys and superheroes that look like us. Can you name a few? Your favorite superhero? Who's that? Black Panther. Mm hmm The Black Panther and who else? And what? Do, what do the other guys look like? White. Right. They're they're not. They don't look like us. And so what I'm saying is, as weird as this may sound. They do that on purpose. So they make that, they make the characters that color not trying to be mean to us, but they're basically saying that most, most heroes are going to be white, and that's just not true. I do not understand. I know, but I want you to ask all the questions. This is a really safe place for you to ask all the questions in your mind about anything that you're questioning about this situation. Okay. Is that true? Yeah. Well, normally when you look at the TV, you look at the characters or you look at what happens on the news, and we don't watch the news, but they mostly, it looks like, you know, that the people who are darker complected and brown skin are the bad guys, right? And so we wanna let you know that just because people can't see that you're a good person, that doesn't mean you're not a good person. You're a great person, a good kid, strong, loving, caring, fear, fear, uh, you know, you're not fearful, you're brave, and you're a helper and all these things. But when people look at you, they may not know that. So that's why we say, hey, don't talk to strangers. And we tell you not to talk to people you don't know because we don't know what they think about you. And we're not very big on, 
you know, when you go to the park, all everybody is that you meet is your friend. We don't know these people. So we try to be a little cautious, which is which is another word for saying careful about who we allow to be in our lives, so to speak. What do you understand about what we've just said? People are bad. All people? No. Who's bad? Hmm. Are you bad? No. Right. So... Yeah, so we're telling you this because sometimes somebody may approach you and they say, you know, they, they, they may ask you a question or they may say something to you and you don't have to answer any question. You can always say, I can't talk to you without my parents here. And that includes police. Because we know that there are some good police and there are some bad cops, right? Some good police and some bad police. Do you know that? I know the good ones, but not bad ones. All right, so we don't know who's good or bad. We don't know who looks at us and thinks that we're not good people or whatever. That's why, you know, Papa is very careful. Do you know that about me? Do you know that I'm kind of... Careful? Paranoid or a little... The thing is, I don't even know if we can call it paranoid anymore. Yeah, I don't think it's paranoid. You know that I don't really trust. I don't like you guys going to the door or speaking to strangers. Because everybody isn't your friend. So what he's saying is, Papa, you know how like you meet a, a person, right? You yeah. meet someone new or someone you come into contact with someone new. Papa's first inclination is, I do not trust you. Versus, oh, I trust you. And so we're, what he's trying to encourage you to do is like, basically don't just assume everyone's a good person. Do you know what it means to assume? To guess. So let's say someone comes through that door right now and we don't know them. We can't just guess that they're a good person. We have to automatically assume that if we don't know them and they're coming in our house, that, that they're, they're a might, bad person. They, they might want to harm us. Yeah. And so, as a kid that is as handsome as chocolate skin as you, you, people may think that about you. And so, I just want you to be very careful when you're out and about and like meeting neighbors or people. Um, I, you know, this isn't the first, this isn't the last time we're going to have this conversation, but I do want you to like let us know if you're uncomfortable or if someone says anything to you, um, because they might be judging you by the way you look, not necessarily because you did anything. Okay. What are you thinking? Mm hmm. You like, I know you don't like uh, uncomfortable situations and you don't like to talk about you know, scary things and like things that make you feel weird, but this is okay for you to talk about this right now. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to we want to have this talk to you before, you know, if something happens, then you won't be like curious why it happened, you know? Mm -hmm. What else? Any thoughts? Words, questions? No. You sure? You want to ask a question without the cameras on? Mm. You want to turn the cameras off and ask a question? Or have George leave? He won't. I don't know if I have any questions. Okay. <laughs> but you know that if you do have a question later today, you can ask us, right? Yeah. So this morning, uh, 
after everything that happened with um, George Floyd uh, and uh, you know the repeatedly the, the things that's been happening repeatedly with you know people being just because they're black being racially profiled being murdered um, I had decided that I wanted to have a discussion with the boys about just anti-black racism and I told Yvette this morning that it was the morning and she was like, nah. And she, I mean, you can speak to for yourself. I don't know, I just didn't feel like I, um, I didn't feel prepared to, I don't know, I feel like we're constantly trying to protect the innocence of our children. And I felt like it's never my desire to like to etch away at their innocence and I felt like that conversation would be a conversation that wouldn't just be like a little chipping of a way but it would kind of take out a chunk and I don't know I was just looking at them being boys and thinking like it's not even fair that I have to have this conversation with you um let alone the boys let alone the boys right. like I feel like I'd rather, what, it, what was the thing Glenn said? He was like, you don't want to, um, when do you buy a firearm? Do you buy it after you, you have a break-in? Someone's broken into your house or you've been violated or whatever. And it's like more of a preventative measure to, you know, make sure that you're, you're ready to protect yourself or whatever. And so I feel like the conversation, like I was more inclined to be a part of the conversation as I realized that, you know, we don't know. We don't know when our children are going to be met with anti-black racism. And so it is our responsibility as their parents to equip them with knowledge and understanding, even though I don't know that they fully understand the conversation that we had today of what it means to be a, a male with black skin. If you do not have the conversation, you are then giving permission for anybody else to teach your kid what racism is and what they should believe. So anybody else they meet can just be like, yeah, white people bad. Don't mess with white people. You know what I'm saying? Or they could say, um, yeah, we don't mess with them over there. We don't, we don't like this. And these are those type of people. And, they, and so that's their first time. So we have to do it before. Mm -hmm. um, and once you allow yourself to be ignorant and say, I'm going to deal, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, then you're inviting someone else to come in and teach them because people already have their preconceived notions about, mm -hmm. you know, other races. Sad as this is to say, you know, the reason why I started the channel, one of the reasons was because like, man, if I die, I don't want my kids to just have pictures. Like I want them to have videos, movies, and memories. You know what I'm saying? So let this conversation be so if something happens to me, you can't say I never told you. And you can watch it again. Like listen to what I'm saying to you. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to, I have to say it. And we don't necessarily, and, and I watched, as we had the conversation, you could see the innocence leaving. Yes. You could see it, I like just drift off. You can see it, and it's like I don't necessarily know. We can we had we had to have that conversation, and it is not comfortable, and it is not something that we get to, like just kind of cruise on by. You know, like our our children's innocence was taken, like we we had to we had to give them that dose of reality. Like, look, man, this is a truth, and I don't know, and I'm so sorry, but this is the truth. You're going to be seen as someone because of the way people see you. It, it, we can't do anything about it. And it's better that we told them than if we didn't. Now, they are young, but it's everywhere. Wait till, wait till one, of these, one of their friends get a phone and are able to see some of the things that we see on a regular that we can't watch anymore. You just never know when it's going to happen. All right, guys. Um, I know that was kind of difficult. It was hard. Uh, but... It was important, you know. Um, this is a critical moment for us and our family. 
We'll continue to have these conversations probably once a year and more if needed. But these are conversations that black people have to have. And a lot of people may think that, you know, like you should just tell them to love people or, uh, you know, what if you didn't never tell them and then, you know, they would just grow up believing da 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 da. I'm like, you know, that's that's awesome, but that's not necessarily something I'm willing to bet my life on, to bet my children's life on. So I have to do what I know has worked. And even though I hated the conversation when my mother had it with me, I was grateful once I needed to apply what she told me. And so, yeah, man, this is for who it's for. If you don't rock with it, I totally understand. Thank you guys so much for watching Protect Your Life, Keep Your Network Popping. If you're fortunate enough to be doing life with someone else, watch this video with them. And if they're not around, share it with them.